Hello and welcome back everyone, I'm Blue Mother Banana and this is Mount and Blade Warbands. Or is it Warband? Yeah, I, I think I'll switch it up all the time. Anyways, we're back in Veluca and I do think we wanted to just move up north, north again. Or maybe, maybe we just uh, take a little little hike to, uh, through the desert. Yeah, why, why, why not? I mean, Desert Band, I think they're Desert Bandits, yeah, I really think there are. On the other hand, is anyone here that we could fight? Doesn't look like it. There are some Rodox, some Rodox parties, Count Matthias, and who's that? Foot, foot Rhyme? Foot, foot Rhyme? Well, actually, the EI there is, well, you say I in, in German. If it's the other way around, if it's uh, like E, well, no, I, E, then you would say just E. It's like a long, a long E, like like in freeze, for example. That that would be an English equivalent, I think. But anyways, uh, let me just take a look at our party. I haven't been playing for quite some days. I actually visited my parents over the weekend, so uh, that's why I didn't didn't upload or record with the course of the weekend, which is rather bad because I kind of missed the initial release of XCOM 2, which I will also play. I, I kind of forgot that it was, you know, pretty close to, to the release and yeah, whatever. Anyways, we're here in, we're here in not so such a modern world. We don't, do not have aliens or anything. We have banded swords, bows and arrows, stuff that, stuff like that. So let's just take a look here. So Nords and Vagirs have made peace. Now that's nice. Let's take a look. Did anyone lose territory? No, doesn't really look like it. I'm not 100% sure. Did Dirim... I think Dirim was taken by the Vagirs and if maybe... Maybe the Swadians conquered it back and then... The Nords and the Swadians had a war over that? I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure on that. It's usually it usually changes ownership quite a lot of times. So let's see what the goods merchant here down in the desert has to offer. Usually you can buy dates, not those kind of dates, you know, like the fruit thing. I think it's fruit. And let's sell them ale. You know, it should uh, just give us a good price there. Usually, usually desert people don't really like alcohol, but hey, that's that's all right. So, do we... Oh yeah, I wanted to buy a lance, right? Let's get a great lance. Yeah, why, why not? Why not? Also, I could go for a good bow right here. That's another thing that I thought I might use. So... Hmm. Large bag of... What? Where the hell did it go? Did I buy it now? No, I didn't. Weird. Oh, it, I think it just went up, yeah, because I took the lance there. So let's take the large bag of bolts, that's also not too shabby. Uh, we could give this to one of our crossbow users, like, let's say, I, Ar yeah, Artie, I think, is using a, bow, uh, is using a crossbow, so he could use a large bag of bolts, that's um, more use of... Yeah, well, he has more shots. That's that's good. More ammunition. Uh, the botkin arrows are usually quite good, but bent is not um, acceptable state. I want them. Uh, bent barbed. Barbed are pretty good as well, but you know, bent not really. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, doesn't doesn't look like he has anything. Uh, well, lost a grant there, but meh, not not too bad. We have nine thousand four hundred. Oops, that's the wrong one. Oh yeah, we bought gauntlets, so we don't even need to look for them. A crude, a crude coat of plates could be actually all right. I mean, six k. Hmm. I don't know. Nah. Not really. Let's leave. I like to equip the lance instead of the shield for now. Maybe we could. We what we could also do is we could take. Javelins right here because they don't use you know bow and you, you wouldn't need bow and arrow But if I use javelins, I have you know my morning star my lance and javelins and one shield That could be 
could be a, a quite all right combination, I think. There were some, were there some bandits? No, it doesn't look like it. Holy crap, we have high maintenance. Ah, it's just looters. You know what? It it doesn't look like it's worth it. So we're going to just. What's our group look like? So formationless. Yeah, I, I I was I'm pretty sure I wanted to use formations. Let's just let the infantry charge. Let's see formation orders. What do we have here? Advance, fall back, spread out, mount horses, dismount. Hmm, that's not really worth it, is it? Uh, let's let the archers stay, stay here. Cavalry, nope, cavalry can charge. Archers stay here. I really need to get back into the zone. I'm, I'm not at all proficient in, at this game at the moment. You usually need some warm-up, I think. That looks rather knightly with lance. I like it. A lance. Sure. Ah, god freaking damn it, but I'm bad at it. See, that's what I, why I'm saying I need some warm-up. I just... yeah. Okay, the Huskills took, took care of it. That's alright. That's alright. Fine by me. Press tab to leave. Alright. Let's just take some stuff. It's not really worth anything, so I don't care. Let's get back to the Sea Raiders. Those, those are usually the ones that really give you a lot of experience. I... Uh, don't like the step bandits because they usually use a lot of horse archers who are just a pain in the ass really excuse me for you know this crude saying but if you fought them once you know what I'm you know what I'm talking about really those guys are just bastards nah not really Germus not a guy that I need uh, sorry for the zoom in I just uh, shift tapped for the steam overlay, so I could just take a look at the yeah no don't need him at my cheat sheet. I just you know have the the wiki open. Oh look at that! Let's trade some ale. We could buy some to tools for under four hundred. It's usually a good deal, but I I have not I don't trust it. I really don't. I just. Screwed myself over once with them, and I don't know. Not really into them. The balanced war cleaver is one of the best weapons you can get uh, for two-handed one, well, two-handed ones, I think. Or do I, I? I may just have. No, sorry, it's a military cleaver, not not the war cleaver. I think they're two, they're two separate ones. They look kind of like uh, the same thing, like an orc sword of Lord of the Rings, but yeah. Let's see, heavy war darts. We don't have enough uh, power throw, so might not want to use it. Oh, I love Warhammers. They're awesome weapons. I love them. I don't know why. It's just one of my favorite ones. I like the design. I like, I like what they are used for. I mean, not really, because they're used for killing people, and you know that's not a nice thing to do. But I like, I like the idea behind it. You know, it's it's an it's a hammer, so it's against, you know, armor. Oh, I don't have prisons. Interesting. Thought I had one. But yeah, it's it's an anti-armor weapon, but you've also got the spike at the top, so you can use it like a spear somewhat. So that's... I think it's a great all-around weapon. It's that's, that's why I like it. That's some freaking cheap iron, so I'm gonna take it. So, what I want to do is get to maybe 12... 15k, I think I said that in the last episode, I'm not 100% uh, sure. As I said, it's about three days that I last recorded. So... Yeah, I can't I can't remember what I, what I really told you. But I want to get some money. Um, well, actually a lot of it, because, you know, the better. The more money, the better. It's pretty simple. We get the Sea Raiders, sure. Come back here, you bastard. Yeah, you can try that, but pretty sure I will drink drink from your skull. However, that would work, you know. I I don't know, but whatever. Trainees, let's put them over here. I think they'll come over this way, shouldn't they? Let's put the archers. No, that was that was the trainees again. Let's put those guys over there. The archers are two. Infantry formation orders. Stand closer. 
Uh, cavalry, follow me. Let's check this formation orders again. Spread out, stand closer, dismount, mount. Let's stand closer. Let's take that. Four. Well, let's charge and let you charge too, because I, I, I freaking can. So I should get my shield up. Because these bastards love to use their stupid uh, throwing axes, which is not good. Try to dig out. Yeah, the see idiots. Uh, cavalry, let's pull the frick back because you suck. I shouldn't say that cavalry sucks. It's just me that, that sucks at using it. Also, I should not. I should just, I just shouldn't. Uh, have just a little... You know, just this, this small, uh, well, army of, 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 of cavalry. They are only good in masses. You don't want just two or three of them. Because they will, they will just get screwed over by this. Hmm, yeah. I just started running into enemies, that's not good. Received 28 damage. Now that's concerning. Now uh, let's charge with the with our friends, the infantry. The archers. No, that was the trainees. The archers can go over there. I forgot that archers are on two, not on four. Puskal killed. No, that's stupid. Take out your freaking shield. I mean, seriously. Come on! It's got one of the best shields in the game. Not using it. Idiot. That's how you use hus uh, that's how you lose hus calls. Because they think yeah, they have to use their stupid two-handed axe two-handed. So I just destroyed the shield, that's great. Just try to, you know, crowd control them a bit by running uh, running them over. Stop shooting. Wow, that guy got a headshot. By Artie, nonetheless. Nice one, Artie. Oh. What's called charge? Let's let the cav, cav charge as well, because why the hell not? There's just three left. Nice shot. Ah, that was a roller sharp shooter. Okay. Those guys, those guys are amazing. They're so freaking good. Let's land. Nope. He got stepped in the back. Or axed in the back. Oh, I don't know. Nice. We lost the host call. That sucks. Some of our heroes got wounded. Well, whatever. Don't want the manhunter. They suck. Take some of this and move on. We don't really have the cash at the moment, I think, to really... Uh... Upgrade our units. Oh, let's not say the cash because we do have the money for it or we do have, you know We have a lot of uh, Well, yeah cash available to do so, but it's not smart. We don't have ah, Crap, we don't have enough We don't have enough Income, let's say reliable income. Yeah, that's that's the word I was looking for. I just forgot what I was about to say because you know trying to See if the, the guy had enough money which he did let's See some sea raiders at ah, just 14. That's not enough. I Want more give me more I mean, we could go for some stupid uh, nine tundra bandits nah Nah. Who killed all the bandits here? It wasn't me. We can do this the ah. way. Or the hard way. Well, I think we're going to do the hard way. I can smell a fat purse a mile away. Methinks yours could do with some lightning, eh? You Canadian? I don't know. Let's do this. I mean he lives somewhere in a tundra, so you I don't know. 
Uh, Chinese could go here. Uh, calf. I don't know. I don't want you to charge. Actually, it's not smart. But anyone else can. They use a lot of javelins. I don't like that. Let's charge it. Let's just go and charge them down. You're not shooting at me, do you? Nope. That's great. I like that. So that's how you die. Really? Ah, now everybody's shooting at me. Bastards. Let's run him down. And I think another cycle. And my Huskull should do the rest now. Ow, crap. They got my horse in the head with a chav. That is pretty bad. Let's get the hell away from them. And another one. Come on, Huskarl, take out your stupid shield! Let's let cavalry charge because now I think it's a good time. I'm taking a lot of risk here by trying to CC the. Yeah. Trying to crowd control basically. Let's let these guys move up. Oh yeah, but I think it was the smart thing to do. I think we only got, yeah, two wounded ones, that's alright. Got a lot of them. Got some loot out of it. It's also pretty good. And some soldiers are ready to upgrade, cool. I don't want to upgrade the men-at-arms because they would take a lot of money. I, however, nope, the camp defenders can stay camp defenders because I think Sword Sisters take a lot of money as well. See, 32. A Rodok Sharpshooter, way less. Mad Arms though, sure. Watch, I got a level up. Let's see what he has to say. Oh, no, I just haven't spent all his points yet. All right, never mind. But our newly born Sharpshooter here. A nice headshot in last episode. Uh, he, oh, he has a large bag of bolts and he has a heavy crossbow. That's good. Do I have a shield that I can give him? Doesn't really look like it. Nope. Sucks. All right. Uh, so your skills. He's going to be my wound treatment guy. So let's upgrade his intelligence. Wound treatment increases party healing. That's great. That, uh, that's what I want. Also surgery. But to be honest, nope. Reset changes. I want surgery first. So now we have 8% chance that a guy is wounded rather than killed. That's actually not too bad. I mean, 1 in 10, it's alright. About, it, it's a bit lower than that, but still. It's, I think, an, an okay choice. Uh, oh, wait a second. Oh, crap. That could be, that could potentially be... Yeah, look at that. So that's, what, 49? Oh, that's alright. We'll Shouldn't be too bad. We'll have our fun. As long as the terrain is not too bad for us. Whoa, they're already firing? Really? Oh, that's not good. Let's, oh no, charge. Let's get the trainees up on this little hill here. The archers up here. Rest can charge. Ah, really, the man at arms got stuck. That sucks a lot. Also, it's really bad that we have. Ah, oh, damn it, that was a bit too high. Oh, come on, really? New enemies have been beamed onto the battlefield. Would be a rather fitting one. So, okay, but the cavalry is here. That's That's good. I don't actually, I think it's really bad that we are fighting on this hill. Or uphill, basically. It's an uphill struggle. Ah, oh, look at that, he missed. Yeah, and <laughs> Man at Arms. Oh, it's pretty useless here. 
but on the other hand, I think we're doing rather well. Let's let the archers move up, trainees as well. Interestingly enough, I, I, I think the Tundra Bandits aren't the worst enemies that you can face. They're far worse, believe me. And couch the guy. And we won. Yeah! Great. Uh, no. Yes. Great. So, oh, they could deploy all of them in one go. That's why. I do think everybody can charge. Ah, you know what? I don't like that. Uh, Kev, Kev, follow me. Infantry, charge, archers, position yourself here. Trainees as well. And my horse got 42 that 40. Oh, that's bad. I need to <laughs> look at him. That's brain. Uh, come on. How can this guy still live? That's recipe for brain damage. Uh, what do I want it to do? Oh, yeah, the cavalry is just following me instead of charging. <laughs> Whoops. I was a bit preoccupied with my horse being, well, lobotomized or something. Uh, what I've learned with the lances, you really need to start your swing rather early. You know, if I wanted to stab the tree, for example, I release now. So it's moving forwards to the maximum. I mean, of course, you can couch, then you just don't click, just aim. But anyways, I like the lance, it's it's not too bad. You're free to go, Manhunters, because you suck, I don't want you. And we're full on items. Yeah. Damn it. Need to rotate the view back. That's one really important thing. Let's get go to Qdon. Sell the spoils of war to the horse merchant, because why the hell not? Nope. That's mine. Nope, I like this. I don't know why, I just like this um, outfit. That's why I, I just can't I just can't sell it. I don't know why. I know it's stupid, but still. Do we need any more food? Not really. Can you afford it? Nope, you can't. Great. And I'll take this. That's alright. You, sir, you need some iron, I'm pretty sure. Nobody needs tools. Don't know why. So let's see, how much money do we have now? 11 grand. Hmm. Kyudan usually is a city that is not under siege very often. That's something that you really need to, to think about. Uh, Sargoth as well would be a pretty good one. Let's check Sargoth. I'm trying to get a profitable business running now. I just want, well, <laughs> of course everybody wants to have a profitable business, but I want to buy a, buy a business and a startup one in one of these cities and one thing that you really need to keep in mind i'm not sure well, that looks better uh you need to kind of take a city that is not uh, under siege very often because if it's sieged or in in a war or, you know something like that you lose the profit or you lose your your income so theorem usually not a good idea Praven uh, sometimes Yalan or Yalan, Veluka and uh, Chalaka usually, or Chel Chelkala, sorry, wow, I butchered that. I really can't read. These three are usually pretty damn good. Veluka not so much, but still. But I, I think, well, Sargoth is a pretty safe bet usually. Kur Kura also under siege very, very often. So I tend to start with Sargoth. Usually they, usually the Nords do pretty good. So, what you want to do then is just take a walk around the streets, if I'm not mistaken. Hopefully I don't get robbed, which could happen, but I don't think so. So that's that's basically Sargoth. And then you just have to find... ...the guy. <laughs> yes, it's, it's just the guy. Hmm, alright, that's just Townsman. I'm... ah, that must be the... that must be him. I think. Go away, peasant guildmaster. Exactly, that's what I want. Uh, that's the guy. 
So, pa pa pa. I wish to buy land in this town for a productive enterprise. Very good, sir. We in the guild know and trust you, and then you know, blah blah blah. Yeah, sure. Of course you do. So let's see. Mm, what could we buy here? I mean, they don't have the best. So let's see what is bread good. Nah. No, that's not. That's not a good. That's not a good thing. Usually velvet is pretty damn good. Oh ho ho! Yeah, that's great. I know what profit would be. This assumes the prices remain constant. Yeah, let's do this. Thanks, buddy. So now we're poor again, but we got a profitable business in Sargoth. That's the first one that we have, so we can check our reports, if I'm not mistaken. We weekly budget report, so we would lose something. But it, this is, of course, because we don't have our business up and running yet. I think it's it's the next month, so we really should just kill some bandits again. And I think just one more battle and then, then we'll call it an episode. We're about 30 minutes, so that's that's alright. You never want to clear these ones out, really. Yeah, that's not enough. I mean, it's better than nothing, I'd say. Yeah, sure. Uh, let's see, where are they? Oh, there they come. Uh, you stay here. Nope, that's a calf. Charge. Archers. Oh, man. Archers, stay there. Infant. That's better. Calf charge. I really need some training again. Hey, hey, hey. You stop that. Would you stop that, please? You little? Wow. If I lose someone here, I'm pretty pissed. Shouldn't. See, that's why I love the, the hammer. Oh, come on! Just when I say it. He blocked, or at least he tried to, and the Morningstar just crushed through his block. That's why I love it. It's amazing. It's... I mean, it's slow. Granted, it really is. It's not the fastest weapon, sure. But... Crushing through blocks is just so nice. Let's take the women. Hire them. Not the farmers, though. They have a really bad upgrade. Uh, little troop tree or something. Oh, that's... Okay, That that that's more like it. Let's take out these 42 Chandra Bandits and then let's call it a day. That's... I like that. That seems appropriate. That seems like an appropriate ending to this to this episode. All right, so let's just charge forward. Uh, he's man, you stupid. Follow me. Infantry charge. Archers hold this position. Trainees hold this position. Inf calf charge. Infantry charge. It's fine. Just move through here. Clearing a line. And of course, my horse oh got. Chaff, back. Oh man, you suck, people. <laughs> and we lose the sword sister, pretty sure. Unless we can avoid it. Like, you know, just... See, seeing the hell out of them. Just move, move, move back. Okay, just, just get back there. Also, let's get a close formation. I'm not sure, somebody told me that I should, uh, well, just experiment with formations a bit more, but I don't see the benefit of that. I mean, am I doing something wrong? Do I have to have a minimum of troops before I unlock something like that? But it doesn't seem that valuable to me. Let's let the calf charge as well. I mean, all that I have is stand closer and spread out, which I don't really know. I mean, yeah, I have advance. Ow, crap. Ha, <laughs> shield hit him. Ow! Stop that. Or I'll lance you. 
All right, you you want to get lanced because that's how you get lanced. Okay, that wasn't fast enough, I think. Ow! Okay, that's not good. Okay, fine. Stop hitting my freaking horse! Oh, that's my own guy. God damn it! So, wounded, wounded, wounded. Great. Me, what I would like would be maybe a little asterisk up here, or you know, just another. Just something that shows you uh, saved by your surgery skill or something like that. That would be pretty amazing. That could give you a lot of information. Just to see if it's valuable or not. Anyways, I think we we achieved something in this episode. We got some some money. And we lost some money. We bought a profitable enterprise. Hopefully profitable. We just bought an enterprise in Sargoth. So hopefully it gets up and running rather soon. Let's check the report. Maybe it's up. No, not really. I do know that it's somewhere somewhere in here. Anyways, it's not, not that important though. What we gained should be a monthly income to offset the costs of our troops. And that's that's something that you really should keep in mind. Those guys need a lot of money. Oops, looked at the wrong thing. And the bigger your army gets, the more you need the more money you need, obviously. So that should allow us to get a bigger party. Eventually maybe we going to swear fealty to maybe the Nords or you know maybe we hire as mercenaries for Swadia or something. And yeah, as soon as we, we have enough troops to really contribute to any war, you know. So that's that. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope to see you next time. And as always, auf Wiedersehen.